communal riots that claimed around 50 lives, nearly all Muslim. There were rumors at the time that government agents had triggered the fighting in Mektila in central Myanmar. Shortly before, a mob had arrived in the town. They were brought to the area and suddenly they were asked to start this kind of violence. So one of the problems to assess this incidents is to establish where it is coming from. But the first step, it is there. It is clear that it was organized. A former officer in Myanmar's feared military intelligence service, speaking for the first time, described how the regime had in the past sent undercover agents to spark unrest. We have concealed the officer's identity. These people secretly entered Muslim communities. They created problems by insulting Islam, hitting and attacking Muslims. The truth couldn't be revealed until today. People didn't realize it. All these things were controlled by the military authorities using money. Sai Tian Win, a former major in the Myanmar army before he defected, says covert agencies promote a policy of divide and rule in order to divert opposition to the power of the military. They had to distract the people, make the people worry, spread the fear, the hatred, and uh, create conflicts. In this way, they influenced the policy of the country. This document, part of a cache obtained by Al Jazeera's investigative unit, was issued to district-level government officers and warned that worshippers at a Yangon mosque were planning countrywide communal violence between Muslims and Burmans in 2013. No riots took place during the period mentioned, and the mosque in Yangon had informed the security services of the gathering that the document claimed was triggering riots. Every time we have the meeting, the relevant authorities come here. They get information without any problems. The government has not stopped our activities. When we see a document like that, we get very concerned that uh, various authorities are working to incite violence against the Muslim population. The government of Myanmar has not responded to Al Jazeera's allegations. Phil Reese, Al Jazeera, Yangon.